Hey guys, it is time for Stuck Summer Away Season 4. We are so excited to hit the road for the month of July again in our RV. We did not get to last summer if you were here for Season 3. Um, we had to kind of modify plans due to COVID, which pretty much everyone did. Uh, we still were blessed to have an amazing trip to Yosemite and Lake Tahoe, so you can check out those videos if you haven't before but we want to get back to the trip that we originally had planned for last summer. So our trip is Ohio and the Southern Great Lakes, we'll call it. Um, we are going to start in Central Florida. That's our home base. Peyton has Dance Nationals, again, at Gaylord Palms, like last summer, if you watched that. So when she finishes, we'll come home, um, hook up the camper, and hit the road. Because of the timing of that dance, um, we have two overnight stops just because we can't leave first thing in the morning, um, but we didn't want to just give up an entire day. I know. <laughs> At our first stop here is just an overnight campground in South Carolina. It's called like Green Acres RV Resort. We'll stay there one night. All right, this is New Green Acres RV Park in Greensboro, South Carolina. Walter, nope, Waltersboro, South Carolina. Um, just kind of a little campground right off the highway. You can kind of hear the traffic back there. Um, grass sites, but they were easy and easy out, even though there were a bunch of trees. And we're just staying the night here, about to go grab some pizza, um, take out, and we'll be on the road tomorrow. Eight and then we'll continue on the next morning, which will then be the 4th of July, um, to this Fort Chiswall RV park. Okay, we are in Max Meadows, Virginia, our second overnight stop. There's tons of fireflies, so I wanna see if I can capture it. This was here for you. pretty difficult. Um, to orchestrate last minute to get this uh, reservation because it was 4th of July. I checked for about 11 parks around this Virginia area. Um, some of them that seemed pretty fun for the kids just to enjoy kind of a night off from driving, but they were booked, of course. And then we will head to Hocking Hills. So Hocking Hills is our first destination. And I am so excited to go here. It looks amazing, all the hiking, the waterfalls, um, <clears throat> the caves and everything. So it looks like a great spot, plenty to do. <clears throat> we did have to get a permit for one of the hikes. It was Corkscrew Falls. So also known as Robinson Falls, um, this is kind of new to Hocking Hills State Park in um, the sense that it was on private land and it's a pretty fragile ecosystem is how they refer to it. So you do have to apply for a permit. They only allow so many people to hike per day, but we got our permit already. Um, no pets on this one. So this hike, Elsa won't be able to join us, but we have lots of other hikes planned in Hocking Hills and looks like pretty much dog friendly aside from the Akron. So we're gonna stay at this Akron Canton Jellystone. It looks like a lot of fun for the kids. Um, and then we're going to visit the NFL Hall of Fame possibly getting a visit from Granny since she's in New York now and the kids can hang out with her since they're not as much into football as we are, but that's okay. <clears throat> from there, we're going to go up to Cedar Point, Ohio. So if you've watched our seasons in the past, when we plan a trip, it focuses on one location, um, just kind of this one thing that one of us has really wanted to do, and then we broaden and plan all the way around it. So that location um, for this trip was Cedar Point. Um, Joe has wanted to go since he was a kid. He's never been. Um, him and Dawson are really into roller coasters, so this is their destination for sure that we focused our trip around. Um, I'm into water parks, and they have a water park too, so I'm excited. One thing that um, is a little bit different, they're open um, where they weren't last year. That's why we postponed this trip because of COVID. Um, they do make, you do make reservations for days to use your ticket. So we did a whole package with the campsite and the tickets. We're staying at Lighthouse Point, which is in Cedar Point, so their property. Um, but we had to schedule 
the day that we wanted the water park, the days we wanted the, um, the actual theme park, things like that. I don't know a whole lot of details because Joe handled that. So when we film that video, I'll give him, have him give you a little more information about it. <clears throat> um, at one point we do want to kind of visit Cleveland because we're pretty close here. Um, I've always wanted to go to a Michael Simon restaurant. So hopefully that'll be on our list in Ohio as well. Um, but then we're going to venture into uh, Michigan we are only staying in the lower peninsula of Michigan, so I know that um, some people are blown away by that, cannot believe it, but one day we will stay in the upper peninsula when we do maybe a Wisconsin, Minnesota trip. Um, but it's just the way this trip worked out. So we're staying in Mackinac City, and we do plan to take the ferry into Mackinac Islands. Um, we're gonna bring, we booked our ferry ticket with our bike passes as well to bring our bikes so that we can bike around the island. Um, we are there for four days. We're only going to the island one of the days. So we do plan to day trip into the Upper Peninsula. Um, hopefully get to visit Taquamanon Falls State Park and also planning on Whitefish Point because when we're that close um, and we're seeing the other Great Lakes to get to see Lake Superior will be pretty cool too. So that is the plan from Mackinac. We're going to stay um, in Indigo Bluffs RV Resort is the park, but basically it is at Sleeping Bear Dunes. Uh, that's the plan. Um, same thing with Orchard Beach. We're just going to go as we travel. We were going to originally stay in Orchard Beach, but the um, steps that you see here down to the beach have eroded and they're closed. So the actual campground doesn't have beach access. So we're gonna stay at this um, KOA, Angola Hogback Lake KOA. It looks like a great park and it's about 30 minutes to Shipshawana so we can visit Amish country as well. So that will be um, fun. We head down here to Kentucky. We are going to visit the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum. Um, this was kind of one of my kind of uh, bucket list places. Um, this and Hawking Hills, so those got added pretty quickly to the trip after we focused it on Cedar Point. Uh, Scott and Jan are meeting us here, so that's exciting. We've never had company on Stuck Summer Away before, um, so they're going to do this stop with us, and then they're heading to Hawking Hills after it. So <clears throat> The um, tickets for this, you didn't have to get ahead of time either. Um, you can just get them when you're there. I did look into that. Our final stop will be Mammoth Cave National Park. So recently, very recently, which was exciting, they opened up some more cave tours. Um, so you can go through and read about the tours, decide which ones you wanna do. We picked two because it was pretty hard to decide. So we're going to do the historic um, modified tour, which basically goes through multiple rooms. You're getting the history of the cave. You get to go in the um, like original cave entrance but it doesn't show any of the drip formations. So we also booked the Frozen Niagara tour. So we're staying at uh, Mammoth Cave Jellystone. So this is kind of a look at the Jellystone here that we will be staying at as well. Once we make it down to Kentucky, then we only need one travel day to get home. So we're staying just outside of Atlanta. Uh, a couple things if you've never used the Good Sam site here, this is how we plan our trips is with the Good Sam trip planner. You can pick a destination, like we started with Cedar Point and then kind of added things in around it. But you can search for campgrounds along your route if you needed to add anything. Um, you can search for things to do if you're really at a loss. And then you can add as many points as you would like. Um, so you just, you go open your trip and then you add in um, all of your locations. You can reorganize them to figure out the most efficient route so you're not backtracking anything like that. So I really enjoy this. It saves the trip and then you can email it or you can print it. So what I do is I print the whole direction so you can set your route to be RV friendly. You can change options if you want. Also, you can check that you're carrying propane. Um, and also the height of your vehicle. 
when we crossed the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, it had, when we had our route pulled up, it flagged it, letting us know that you could not carry propane over. So we knew we had to pull over, close our propane tanks, that kind of thing. It also would avoid um, an area that would be too low for the RV. So I keep those printed. Um, that way, each time we leave for a leg of the trip, I can check it and make sure that it matches up the route that's pulling up on Apple Maps. So in the truck, we use Apple Maps but I do compare it to this Good Sam um, directions just to make sure it's RV safe. All right, so that's a look at the route, a look at kind of our logistics and how we plan things. Um, if you have any questions, of course, you can comment them below. We are leaving in 11 days, um, so if things are getting really close, um, we made some big purchases to get ready for this trip that you'll see in this video, but we're very excited. And so we'll also kind of show you how we got the camper ready, what we stock. All right, so we're surprising the kids this trip with a bunkhouse makeover. Betty's because we've heard nothing but good things. Um, this is a twin on the bunk, so it's a little bit bigger, but still worked well. And then a queen for the pullout couch. We took this mattress off the top bunk. We just use it for a shelf if we're traveling with the guinea pig, extra storage, charging their electronics, that kind of thing. All right, that's it. Can't really zoom out any further. Oh, I like it. Oh my gosh. What do you think? I like it. Mm -hmm. You sign up here too? Huh? Huh? Where? Huh? All right, this is how it starts. Wagons come out to the camper from the house but this is a longer trip so it may take longer and i'm going to kind of give you a glimpse at how we pack the rv how we prepare to leave clearly we're not at that point yet okay so we are almost stocked just have a little bit more shoes to load and the dyson to load in here we've got extra water um cleaned out my cabinet joe still has to accomplish that to get his clothes packed um, but backups, I mean, pretty much we'll keep just a gallon of water in here for our overnight stops, um, because we have all full hookups where we don't travel with water in the tank, but we don't want to have to hook up just to, um, stay the night as we're traveling. I still have to load all the guinea pig stuff. So her bedding and hay goes in this, um, back of the dinette here because we never use that. So that's good to go. Have a little bit left on the shopping list to accomplish. Um, and then we're ready, so almost time to hit the road. Got new faucet number one. Our old one was leaking here at the switch. There we go, new faucet number two. Got a new shower head. The old one was leaking like here. So we'll have optimal water Coming. pressure now. Guys, the truck. Look at that baby. <laughs> Elsa's We're back. We're gonna hop in and get Starbucks now. Okay, so we're ready to hit the road. Mentioned costs. New truck. A little unexpected, but excited for. Um, we used to have the front mount on the truck for the bike, so we bought a new bike rack that goes over the tongue and then had to replace the cover because this truck bed was bigger. So this trip is added up, but well worth it and we are underway. All right. Dear God, we love you. Thank you for uh, this day. God, we thank you for uh, pulling out safely so far. We pray for safe travels. Uh, we pray that uh, we enjoy the journey and month ahead. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
4th of July.